G'day and welcome to another video. In today's video I'm going to show you an update on my veggie patch. As you can see we've had lots of bugs, frogs, lizards and all sorts of animals here at our place. The weather's warming up so all the lizardy things are starting to come out. So far no snakes which is good but loads of spiders and other things. So it is about nine weeks since I've started the veggie patch and we are getting lots of growth. It's warming up, there's been quite a bit of rain this week and last so it's all going really well. If you want to see other videos previous to this to see what it started off looking like and it was completely different this veggie patch I'll put some links up in the top right hand corner of the video. Lots of beautiful yellow zucchini flowers coming out and as you can see actual zucchini is growing. Some of them have started to rot on the end. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's something to do with water. Any ideas? I've got a sunflower growing on the right hand side of the screen just there. That's getting taller every day. The thing's growing like a weed but can't wait till it flowers. All of my herbs are going really well so that's great. This rambling plant here is my snow pea plant. It's going crazy having loads of snow peas but I must say that no snow pea ever makes it to the house because I stand there eating them as I'm watering the garden. But I tell you what they taste beautiful. You can see here lots of blue strings attached to the fence. It's because this plant was having nowhere to go and it was just falling over so we are training it outwards. I'm going to totally change the trellis next time we put these in because I didn't realise how much this type of plant grows. And as you can see lots of cicada shells everywhere. I don't know if you can actually hear the cicadas in the background now. I'm doing a voiceover and I can hear the cicadas where I'm sitting. You can probably hear them in the background. Lots of cucumbers in this garden bed you're just about to see now. This one, lots of cucumbers growing with lots of flowers. The lighter green plant just at the bottom of the screen there is my radishes and they're going fantastic. Got some dwarf bean plants there, they've just got off screen. And here's my spring onions and rosemary. Sorry, not rosemary, thyme plant. Spring onions are going really well. So this is our tomato section. We've got some, I cannot remember the name of these plants, gone blank. Uh, I'm sure you know what they're called anyway. And we've got some tomatoes growing in the background there. Look at those. They're Roma tomatoes. They taste really good. So hopefully they'll go red and we can eat them. These ones here are cherry tomatoes. This was filmed about three weeks ago. So now we've actually got quite a lot of tomatoes growing. I cannot think of those yellow plant name. Anyway, so we're walking up to the back veggie patch here. As you can see again, loads of growth. The corn on the left hand side, onions in the middle, and then we've got some potatoes on the right hand side. I have actually dug up since this videoing this thing. Oh, another cicada shell. <laughs> They're everywhere. I've actually dug up one of the t potato plants since filming this, and we had lots of I would say sort of salady potatoes, quite small. Obviously I've dug them up too early, but I was impatient. I just wanted to see what was happening. But they tasted wonderful, so that's the main thing. Got my corn plants here. The bottom of the leaves are going yellow down the bottom of the plants, and someone said it was nitrogen in the soil. What's your advice? Do you have any advice on why my plants might be going yellow? This is the first time I've planted into this veggie patch, so it is brand new and the soil where we live isn't the best. It did have lots of organic matter added but maybe it wasn't enough. As you can see we've got some corn growing. Very exciting. So do you grow veggies where you live? Do you have a veggie patch like this? Or maybe you grow in containers? What's your favourite thing to grow? I pretty much put in a range of everything. So in the front here are these big leaves, that they are pumpkins. That was a really quick look at the pumpkins. Anybody know what this bug is? I haven't researched it yet. I found a really big one in the house, probably about two inches, so they do get quite big. I'm not sure if they're eating my plants or just sitting there and hanging around. These are all my onions, they're growing really well. Another pumpkin plant. There's three in this garden that have just started to grow by themselves. So we're going to have a lot of pumpkins. This is a cicada hole. 
they live underground and then they dig out at a certain time and then they just climb up a tree and hatch. Now this is a cannot think of the name of it. I'm gonna put it across the screen. It's like ant lion or lion ant or something like that. And they live in their burrows and they flick sand out. I'm thinking this is the video where it actually does it. An ant actually will walk along. See look, an ant just fell into that one unfortunately. And you watch, it'll start spraying sand, the bug that lives in there. See the sand coming out? Don't worry, I'm going to cut it off before anything happens to the ant. I didn't think you'd want to watch that part. But the ant gets eaten. Some other random bug that I found, really don't know what that is. Any ideas? So this is a cicada, one that hasn't hatched yet. You can tell by his eyes because they're kind of clear. Here's one that's already hatched out. The shell right next to him is where he came out of. One here coming out of its shell. They look so funny, don't they? I've actually videoed one cicada coming out of its shell and it took over an hour for it to come out. I am going to upload that and when it's uploaded you'll be able to watch it there'll be a information thing pop up on the right hand side with the link to the video don't think it was this particular cicada but it was really it was this one actually that you're looking at now it was really fascinating to watch it emerge because I sped up the video so you can see it quite quickly you don't have to sit there for an hour their wings are really beautiful they are very symmetrical and they when they dry they're clear. These ones, the wings are clear. I think all cicadas, mate. There we go. There's a picture of one. I didn't rip it off that cicada. I found this on the ground. Fascinating, I think. So intricate as well. Oh, there's a frog that scared me because it jumped towards my camera. Well, so if anyone was watching our Instagram update, we were talking about cordial. This is cordial to what Australians would call cordial. It's syrupy sort of stuff in a two litre container or a one litre container and you add water to it and it's a drink. Add cold water to it. We also went on a road trip so I got a little bit of crochet in. As you can see I'm still working on my Christmas blanket from last year and here are some veggies that we've been picking and I've actually remembered to take a photo. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed that veggie patch update. Let me know what the weather's doing around your way. Today, as you can hear, it's going to be hot. The cicadas are chirping. They're very loud. And they're only going to get louder. Well, it's part of summer living here in Australia. And, yeah. That's about it for me for today. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, happy crochet, happy gardening. And I'll see you in the next video.